have you guys looked at that film and, and maybe those opportunities? Yeah. What came out of that? Yeah, I watched that chance a lot. <laughs> um, you know, I was, like, like I said, I'm not very, have, I hold myself probably to the highest standard of, I always want to score. I think I can score every chance I get, and you know sometimes I don't, and that's that's frustrating for me. I think I'm hardest on myself, and you know it's like I said yesterday was still tough. Today I'm kind of we watched officially watched film, watched it in front of everybody. So now it's it's over with. Tried to get back out here, get back on the ball, kind of just work on passing, fin finishing, you know, and just get back um, in the groove of things for a quick turnaround on Sunday. You might have seen that in the second half that team might look a little bit physically tired uh, yeah. did that come up at all um you know i i can't really speak for some of the guys that played 90 90 completely maybe they were maybe they weren't i felt i felt all right um you know it was kind of tough to find space i think in that second half with how far they how deep they defended but you know at the end of the day if we score one of the any chances in the first 10 minutes or last 10 minutes it's uh we're not talking about the result you guys have had pretty good success uh, playing LA over the last couple of years. Uh, what challenges do they present down there? Um, your first look at Zlatan uh, yeah. in person as well. Yeah, they, uh, you know, at, at this point really, they've got nothing to lose. They've Dom's coaching them now. They've they can always fall back on the excuse of we've got a new coach midseason making a playoff run. So they they're going out and they're just going to be attacking attack mode. You know, um, everybody wants to talk about all the goals they've given up. Yes, they've given up a lot of goals and leaky defensively, but. I'm sure I don't know the exact numbers. They've scored a lot of goals too. A lot of these games they've lost have been five, five, four, four, three, whatever you want to say. So their firepower offensively is very good. Um, you know, so I think we're going to have to be smart with how we defend. And and back to the end result, if we can catch them on transition, they've been leaking goals. So hopefully we can exploit that. Just how, how differently do you expect this game to be than the one that you guys played them in Central League Field a, a, like a month ago? Yeah, that one we kind of jumped on them early, and you saw their heads go down. Um, you know, and credit to us, we just kept scoring, kept putting them in the back of the net. So not every game's that easy, I wish. But, um, you know, them them at home now, like I said, they just had a tough result. I think their last game was the Toronto game, maybe. Um, they, so they had a tough result there. But you saw they were down 3 nothing. They battled back to tie at 3-3. So that's, uh, that shows that the fight and, you know, the belief might be creeping in a little bit. So this is going to be a very, very big game. What do you think of uh, actually getting to play against Laton this time after he didn't make the yeah. trip for the last game? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's awesome. You know, um, he's an iconic player. Not many people say they score 500 goals um, in a career, and you know, everywhere he goes, he scored. So that's something that you really have to know where he's at, be aware. Um, whenever they have the ball, he's he makes me look small, so they they can lob it up to him. And you saw his 500th goal. That he still got the acrobats. So that was that was pretty incredible. Um, he's he's a special player, but you know, they've got a lot of weapons that that can um, hurt us offensively. What's been the message from the coaching staff heading into this weekend? Um, I mean, today we were kind of just putting to bed the Philly game. Kind of we can't, when things aren't good, you can't just ignore it and not watch film and learn from it. Um, so, you know, unfortunately it's not fun to watch film when, when results like that happen, but we did it. We move on. Now it's focus on, on L.A., and I'm sure we're going to dive into them deep tomorrow. There's already a lot of stuff on the computers um, that we can look at later today, but um, we'll get more details tomorrow. I know it's kind of a bummer about the Philadelphia game, but have you guys had a chance to reflect about the fact that you've won nine straight games in a row? I know, yeah. A league record and something that you know, no other team in the league has ever done. I know, it's it's crazy when you think about it, how at least personally I take this game. This game's tough. Um, but when you look at the big picture of how the last few months have been, it's kind of, it's pretty cool. Um, we went on a really good run. Um, you know, now, now it's over with, so we can start a new one and... You know, um, but it was it was cool to get be a part of a group that gets nine wins in a row because that doesn't happen, and I don't think um, it'll be contested in the, anytime soon. But um, you know, maybe we can be the ones to contest it.